Well, the Middle East region has over 90,000 public schools and colleges and 50 million students with an education budget of around 55 billion US dollars. Morad Azin is education sector manager for the Middle East and North Africa at the World Bank and is with us now on Emirates News. Morad Azin, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Well, first of all, um, you know, what are the World Bank's key strategies then concerning um, education? The bottom line for the World Bank is invest early, invest smartly, and invest for all. Invest early refers to knowledge coming from uh, uh, brain science, showing that uh, the skills that allow us to continue to learn along, uh, throughout life are acquired before primary school. So it challenges the conventional uh, uh, knowledge that education starts in primary school. Uh, Invest uh, smartly. A smart investment is uh, just an investment that improves learning, and this needs to be quantified. And investing for all refers to the fact that all children can learn, and all children should learn. Not only the brightest, not only the richest, all of them. Where is the investment coming from then, primarily for this region and the MENA region? It's coming primarily from states which have been investing about 5% of their gross domestic product uh, or the fifth of their budget in education and they have been doing so consistently for a long period of time. Uh, however, now we are seeing that the needs coming from improving quality or the flux of uh, new children coming to school are making it difficult for states to sustain this level of investment and they are turning to the private sector for additional resources. Now there's a lot of talk about um, learning for all, so how is the World Bank embracing that? Why learning for all? If you look at international uh, assessment of education quality, uh, we see that uh, the performance of education systems throughout the region are alarmingly uh, low. Uh, for example, the average for this region in the TIMS, which is one of the most known uh, performance assessment, is 390, while uh, the top country have uh, an average of 600, uh, 590. So the gap is very high. What does it mean? It means that we need to make an effort so everyone learns, particularly uh, we, we need to look beyond school. We need to look to the, those adolescents, for example, that leave schools and to second chance learning opportunity for them. We need to, to look also toward adults which need opportunity during their life to acquire new skills or to adapt to new technologies that are coming to their uh, sectors or to their uh, workplace. Very interesting. Thank you very much. Murad Azin, Education Sector Manager for the MENA region at the World Bank. Thank you. Thank you.